everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to help you find your signature hairstyle. And if you're not completely blinded by this top, maybe you can actually focus <laughs> on the video. I'm gonna be saying hair and style probably a million times in this video. So if you're interested in a drinking game, keep on watching. All right, we all know the most stylish people, people that are iconic, always have a signature style period, not just for hair, but how they dress. And whether you're not sure about the style you have currently, or you have always thought about switching to maybe your dream hair, but not sure if it's gonna work for you, hopefully asking yourself these five questions will help determine exactly what your signature style is. So there's definitely a formula very similar to this on how to find like your fashion style. And years ago, I basically translated this idea into hair and I think I do it silently in my head basically for most of my clients, most of my friends, and anyone that asks me like what would look good on me. So I figured I would break it down for you. It's super simple. Like I just quickly mentioned earlier, you basically just have to ask yourself these five questions. So the best way to do this is probably on your phone or on a computer. And basically you're going to compile a few photos. So the first photo is how do you normally wear your hair? Now this isn't how you think you look your best. 90% of the time, what is your go-to hairstyle? So for someone that wears their hair up 90% of the time, but they think they look better with their hair down, you would still screen grab a photo of you in your hair up. So this time you're gonna grab a photo of you in a hairstyle that you absolutely adore, but maybe takes a little bit longer, therefore you don't really wear your hair in this way that often. And just to keep in mind, if the Photo number one and photo number two are the same, that's totally okay. All right, so this is where it gets fun. So for number three, you are going to find three photos of hair inspo that you love, uh, both the color and the cut. And now these can be completely different from you, but basically three hairstyles that you've kind of been idolizing or adoring for the last couple of months or so. All right, so step number four is identify your face shape. I've made a video on this previously if you don't know what face shape you are. All right, so the last and final step is to find celebrities that have your same face shape. You can literally just Google male or female celebrity with heart or diamond face shape or whatever face shape you are. And again, from that, go ahead and pick three photos in which you love the hair. So basically, like if you are a criminal investigator, you have all of your evidence in front of you. Now you just need to piece it together and find the criminal, or in this case, your signature hairstyle. So at this point, you're going to narrow it down to the commonalities, and you're gonna separate your photos from all inspo photos. And the easiest scenario is if you have an inspo photo that is somewhat similar to your photo. So say the photo of your hair that you wear all the time, which is up, and you have another celebrity in the same face shape that also has their hair up, combine those two and that's your signature hairstyle. And say they have a different hair color than you, but you prefer their hair color, that is your signature style. So say you're brunette and always wear your hair up, and let's say JLo is one of your hair inspos and she has your same face shape, and you have pinned a photo of her with her hair up, but say she's sporting one of her more caramelly kind of blonde hair colors, and you prefer that color to your color, then that is your signature hairstyle and color. Now, if you find no commonalities, say the pictures you have saved of your hair um, do not in any way match any of the inspo photos that you've gathered, the main reason is most likely because your hair inspo is something that you are maybe not willing to spend time on. So this is a good time and kind of question to ask yourself, is that really my true desired hair color or hair cut or hair style? And I'm just not putting in the time for it, but now looking at it and seeing that that would really suit me, am I willing to put the time in to get that hairstyle? And maybe it's not, maybe it's just not reasonable whatsoever for you and your lifestyle and that's okay. That can still be a hairstyle that you aspire to have maybe one day or just to style your hair in that way, um, maybe here or there, but it's not going to be your signature style. But I do think that doing this little exercise does kind of put everything sort of in perspective. I've had my clients do this in the past, and this helps them understand why as a hairdresser, 
Uh, I may not want to give one of my clients who is a mom and only has five minutes for her hair every morning, but yet she wants this chiseled bob that's maybe platinum blonde. A, the maintenance for the color is a lot, and B, that haircut needs a lot of styling and attention every morning. Otherwise, it's not gonna look that pretty. And obviously the point of this exercise is not to tell you what styles you can or cannot have, but more to understand why I don't gravitate towards this hairstyle. Maybe it is because it's time consuming. The good news in this little exercise is that oftentimes we find that, wow, that hairstyle would totally look good on me and I've always been afraid to try it, but it would actually totally work. So, so go ahead, try this out. I promise it's a lot easier than it sounds. If you do this and still have some questions, don't hesitate to leave any down below. And obviously at the end of the day, what I do wanna stress is that we as hairdressers always want to give you your desired hair goals period. But if you as the client are better informed, it, I think it makes us working with you just that much easier. And I know that not all of my subscribers come and see me for their hair needs, but if I can help you determine and kind of analyze what it is exactly that you want, then I feel like my job here on YouTube is done. All right guys, so that is it. I hope you guys have fun doing this. If you end up doing it and you do find your signature hairstyle and it's a little bit different than what you had imagined it would be, leave me a little fab hair emoji and let me know what style ended up being your signature style. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.